Well, how much is your password at work worth to you? Would you sell it? I don't even you remember. Even we have say to, that we, around here. We have to change it every five minutes around right. here. Very top secret around here. That's one topic we're covering. First, though, there's a new smartphone to rule them all. Our consumer expert Amy Davis has details. Smart. Yeah, the employers may be onto something, making you change your password uh -huh. every five minutes. We're going to get to that in just a okay. minute, minute. But first, it looks like the Samsung Galaxy S7 has earned Consumer Reports top ratings huh. for smartphones. I found this very McDonald. interesting. Exactly. Yeah, right. Not an <laughs> Apple. The, the devices were found to have great cameras. Cameras, excellent battery life and very high resolution screens. Among other features that help gain the phone's top ratings, its waterproof abilities and expandable storage. Now, Samsung also snagged a spot for the second best smartphone, not Apple there either, for its yeah. S7 Edge. Yeah. Well, ride sharing company Uber is launching a program to pay hackers big bucks for finding bugs in their software. The Bug Bounty program offers hackers $10,000 for each critical problem they find. Uber will also dole out $5,000 to hackers who flag significant issues and $3,000 for medium issues. <laughs> okay. wow. Will everything be medium? <laughs> 3,000 still oh, quite a haul. Lots of tech companies have similar programs, but the payouts in Uber's new offer are particularly high. Uber also says it's creating a loyalty reward program for hackers to help Uber deal with, quote, subtle bugs. Nice. Yeah, well, we talk about protecting personal information all the time, but a recent study found that one in five employees polled said they would be willing to sell their password to their work <laughs> email. Guys, yeah, <laughs> this was from Austin-based security company. They, um, the company was SailPoint, and they surveyed 1,000 people, and of those 20% who said they'd give up their passwords, 44% said they'd do it for a thousand bucks or less. Guys, <laughs> but people are not just jeopardizing their employers' networks. In 2014. An experiment by ProPublica found that 380 New Yorkers actually gave up their fingerprints or portions of their social security numbers in exchange for a cookie. You got to kid. No, you yeah, like a That's cookie. Insane. So, what time of the day did they hit up these poor people? Yeah. You know, was it the three o'clock? Like, I really need a snack to get through the day. Uh, okay, here you go. They're the right. warm ones that they deliver here sometimes. Those warm well, chocolate chip yeah. ones. Right, exactly. <laughs> Maybe First they place. were, yeah, fudging their social security numbers old. just for a cookie. Yeah. So bizarre. Right. Oh my gosh. So we were asking you guys. Android or iPhone, yeah, yeah. Sixty forty kind of. That's why, on. yeah, it's it's like more leveling out mm -hmm. with people who have iPhones. But that's why I thought it was such good news because the average person, yeah. they used to say, has the Android, mm -hmm. and Samsung came out on top. So yep. good news. I think the anti-Apple folks are growing in number too. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh.